shall see what none yet understand. God shall grow up while the wise men talk and sleep. For man shall not know the coming till its hour. And belief shall be not till the work is done. When the immortals take upon themselves the task of leading man, leading man on the path of the truth, then great things start happening. Darkness may deepen and the corporeal mind may fail, yet there shall be the entry of the sure light in us. The state in which we are, in it the voices are ill heard, yet there is a charm, there is a sweetness. Charm and sweetness shall open life's doors. Beauty shall conquer the resisting world. Truth lies shall capture nature. God's coming will bring bliss to the heart. Earth shall grow unexpectedly divine. Matter's house shall be lighted with the spirit. Body shall be kindled. Body shall kindle the sacred birth. Night shall find music in the stars. Day shall become the march of the pilgrim to the hills of worship and adoration. Spiritual sun shall illumine thought. One may believe in all this happening. One may doubt. One may be skeptical also, but that shall count in a list with a view or whether you doubt about the possibility of the spirit which can manifest in matter. One may believe, one may not believe, but that shall count in the list. Surely the critics and the non-believers shall deride all this as a sheer fancy, a daydream, a hallucination. The notion that such possibilities can become material in this earthly life, that life can open to the life divine, will be tangently resisted, tangently resisted denied, set aside, dismissed. Yet this has to happen. The possibility of the spirit must manifest themselves in matter. This has to happen. It is built in in the very system, in the very nature of things. It has to be so. It is so in the very nature of things. It is present in the scheme of the creation itself. Belief shall be not till the work is done. The quiet work has to go on. The mother reveals everything that took place there in Shabandar's house, in the true physical, Shabandar's house, in the true physical, everything that took place in that house was organized to express concretely the rapidity of the present moment of transformation, transformation, the present moment of transformation. It is that which was organized, which is organized by him in his house of the physical, in the subtle physical. Even the most skeptical will be compelled to see that something is changing, that it is not the same thing anymore. It cannot be the same thing anymore. It can have a change. But there are doubters. Shemindu told the mother, 
the time has come he told her personally the time has come even the most skeptical will be compelled to see that something is changing that it is not the same thing anymore the time has come but then there are skeptics who say after the 1950 event but he went away that is what the doubters say but that is rubbish they do not know the work which is being done and the tremendous advances that have already been made in the true physical mm-hmm.